and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For another donation deck, we have Golgari Discard is what we're going to go ahead and call this one. Um, because we have the Bag of Holdings here, uh, where this is our discard payoff. So it's not like a discard deck where we're trying to make our opponents discard cards. It's a discard deck where uh, we are discarding cards. And whenever we discard a card, we exile it um, from our graveyard, put it into the bag, basically. And then we can pay for and sacrifice the bag later on and return those cards back to our hand. So we have the Rotting Regisaur, which of course says discard a card during your upkeep. But uh, um, there's Hawkeye doing his dino impres impression. Um, but, you know, if we discard him into the bag, it's not so bad. So we're not discarding him just into our graveyard. And then, of course, we have the Arc Bows that just activating an arc bow. Um, usually we would discard a card, but we can just go put it into the bag and go look for a creature with that. So, uh, you know, we'll kind of try those out. Shifting Ceratops is, of course, is a card that I have been re really down on as I've just been uh, reviewing it. But to be fair, I haven't played with the card yet. But just like with the set review, I was really low on this card compared to other people. Um, I don't think the protection from blue really matters that much in this format. Uh, it's mostly just protection from Teferi, and I don't think the can't be countered really matters that much, as people aren't playing counter spells at all. So, I'm glad that we're playing like the full four here, so I can you know try it out, see if I'm wrong, see if it's good. Um, you know, I'm glad that we're playing the card. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, self-discard does not work with Null Hide. That would be pretty ridiculous if it did. Just put it into play. Um, we got some Blight Beetles in here. Being pro-green and creatures our opponents control can't have 1-1 counters on them. So this is the card against the Wild Growth Walker, the Explore decks, you know, with Krasis. You know, it's very good against Krasis. Makes Krasis just a 0-0. Zero, zero. So there's the full four Blight Beetles. We'll kind of see how strong this card actually is if it, you know, if it really does shut down those decks. Um, got the full four of them in there. Uh, and that's kind of that's kind of our deck. Pull some Rasa can bring some stuff back if we discard. So this is an interesting one to try. So here we go. All right, Golgari discard. It does not stop Nissa's tick up, unfortunately. No, because Nissa's tick up puts counters on lands, doesn't put counters on creatures. Because it, it's weird like that. I'm really liking M20 so far. Yeah, I. This is a. This is definitely the kind of set that I like. There's nothing, that's just like, ridiculously powered, like Command the Dread Horde and mass manipulation and cards like that that are just like so over the top. Um, A lot of a lot of fun cards to play. You get mastery points and you, know, you get the experience by doing the daily quest. Uh, that you get normally you get eight hundred experience from doing the daily quest. And then also uh, winning a couple of the games. You can also get like another two hundred experience from winning games you can get a thousand experience a day that temple of, of epiphany art is pretty nice all right so it looks like we got teamer elementals here which that was going to be our next deck was going to be a teamer elemental deck omnath All right, cool animation. <laughs> I 
Thankfully, this Hawkeye is not available in any of the Mastery Passes. All right. Turn three, Reggie. We'll see how Regisaur does. Fortunately, the Ceratops doesn't just have haste normally. You have to spend the extra mana to give it haste, so couldn't really play it and, and have it have and have it haste immediately. Give me a sec. Nature's true power. Ah, there's the bag. All right, just gonna attack them, try to kill them. So I really hope they don't have a shock that kills the Registor Alpha 2. I could have saved. I like, keep on looking at their hand like this. I feel like they may have a, a shock. Hmm. I probably don't really have time for Arc Bow, do I? I guess I should, maybe I should just disfigure that thing anyway because it'd get discarded. It does go to the bag. Yeah, I, I could have disfigured the 4-4 and have the Registor not die to shock, but I don't want to do that though because uh, they did have shock. Dang it. I wanted to hold it for another turn and be able to disfigure this. Like, disfigure during upkeep before the Registor trigger made me discard in case if they had like three, if they had two three threes to be able to block. Yeah, I understand how the arc bow works. I just I was thinking that was gonna take too long with us having the seven six and the five four us trying to just end this game before Nissa really takes over. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Oh. 
That shock was certainly the worst case scenario. Hey, Sway. All right, good brother. A Safara Skies deck. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. Let's check this one out. All right, so yeah, just send me just send me that that list there, good brother. When you got it. Yeah, we are left holding the bag. That is true. Cool, yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'll play that tonight here. Good brother. All right, so that's lethal. Just need to fight to make another creature. Even just making another creature and not fighting, that's still lethal. That's 14. So Blight Beetle, Blight Beetle stops, stops the Krasis. It's like the reason why that card's in our sideboard. Um, this figure felt really weak there. This figure didn't really kill things. Um. Well, it also it tramples to pink riots. The the crisis tramples. So if we take out Disfigure, we probably want this extra Elder spell. So Nissa is a real problem. Like, Bronsadon, I don't think they're going to have artifacts or enchantments to kill, so it's just 3 mana, 3, 4. Which is fine. It's not spectacular, but it's fine. All right, sounds good. Gruel is not worse with them 20 at all. No. It's possible that the same list, like the same Gruul list from before, is worse. Um, but if you're playing Gruul, you should you should be playing Big Chandra's because that card's really, really powerful. I think it's like the the new All Star in Gruul.
And no one knows the wilds like I do. Please no Nissa. <clears throat> Please no Nissa. Yay, no Nissa. All right, hopefully no shock either. Hopefully we just get to untab with Vivian. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Come to me. So I think we're... <clears throat> Yeah, I think we're just getting this land. I'm definitely playing the Blight Beetle out here. And then it's, you know, do I want to play the Ceratops or the, the Rotting Registaur? Really. Um, I guess we'll go Ceratops. Don't really need to discard either one. This Oh, yeah, the Ceratops with the Pro Blue does, you know, does get to check the Omnath perfectly well there. Hey, Eddie. Correct. If you have no cards in hand to discard, then nothing happens with the Rotting Regisaur, Then so you don't have to discard. So, like, playing Rotting Regisaur and just having one card in hand is nice, because then upkeep, if you'd usually have to just discard your last card, you can ditch it to Vivian's Arcbow here with the, with the Regisaur trigger on the stack. That's a little annoying. We will not fail. I'll be back just like before.
All right, so yeah, that was a Veil of Summer on our Elder Spell. That was a killer. The land shall conquer you. That really hurt. All right, so upkeep, we'll either have to discard to Arcbow or, you know, now trophy this Nissa. That's what we'll have to do here. So I guess they have another lava coil that they're gonna kill the rotting register with. Which that's that's fine, I suppose. Oh, poor Omnath. Because the Nissa puts counters on lands. It doesn't put counters on creatures. It's lame. It'd be nice if Beetle did stop the Nissa. That'd be nice. See, it says put three 1 1 counters on a non creature land, and then it becomes a, a creature. Can't really do it the other order. Fight on without me. So Field of Rune is kind of nice here. It does blow up that Breeding Pool. But I think I'd rather just activate the Arc Bow. <clears throat> for four here. Not looking good. Oh. I don't really know what we're doing here anymore. It's the thing we don't. Our deck doesn't really have the real powerful cards like Nyssa and Krasis. We have to get out. We got to be a lot more aggressive, I suppose. It's kind of tough to do, though. They had a couple of good hands, for sure. They had turn three Omneth both games. Hmm. A lot more impressive showing for their deck than our deck there. Yeah, Boot was here for a little bit earlier. Remember him stopping by earlier? All right. 
Michael Gari discard. Okay. Let's try again. Mulligan. Yeah, the uh, my favorite deck so far. From yesterday were Grixis Control and Orzov Knights. And from today, the Sultai Yurok deck. Um, all those decks, not really the Grixis Control, but the other two. Um, if you check out like the videos on YouTube, we'll talk about like some changes that I would make to the decks at the end of the videos there. So I guess I'm going to play this Bag of Holding on turn one, which means maybe I don't need the Llanowar off and just go straight into the Paradise Druid. Chandra's and Bouquet. Get more mana out here, also. Hey, there you go. Sin Christ. Yeah, you, you summon boot. All right, another elemental deck. Yeah, ne yeah, we played the Jun list yesterday, the Jun deck yesterday. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to go back through it yet. If that's what you're talking about, like how I uh, wanted to to go back over there. What happened? Game one, we got beat up pretty bad by a team or elemental list. They had good hands both the, both games and just ran us over. Nissa was a huge problem. Nissa, Crisis, that kind of stuff. Those cards are really good. Omnath. Okay, good. Got that in play. Do I want to activate Arcbow for three? No, we can wait. I don't think there's anything wrong with the shuffling effect, Sothian. I haven't I haven't noticed anything there. Hmm.
All right, so it's time just to activate arc bows for a little while. I'll just discard this disfigure. Arcbow does make it really difficult to attack into. Alright, let's see if we find Riding Regisaur. Hey, I found a lot of Riding Regisaurs. So just later on in the game, just basically at any point, we'll be able to spend four mana and sacrifice this bag and get these cards back. We'll see when that actually happens. Down to three cards over there. Yeah, Riding Rush Store is pretty cool. All right, so we took, took two there. Let's see what we get here. Paradise Druid. Our Arcbo in this deck, uh, you know, JJ, you missed the first game too. Our Arcbo wasn't very good in the first game either. We don't have very many good hits off Arcbo. It doesn't feel like like we don't have some like real powerful bunch of like real powerful creatures to hit. We should find the Ceratops by now. We haven't seen a Ceratops yet. There's four of them in the deck. Nope. To make, like, Arcbow is kind of a weird card. To make Arcbow good, you need to play a, a very high density of, like, three, four, five, uh, you know, maybe even six if you want, but especially, like, the four or five. Like, you have to play a ton of really good quality creatures, like rares and mythics and everything, and this deck doesn't really have that. No, I think we, we passed a bunch of Rotting Regisaurs the last time whenever we arc boat, right? Maybe there was one Ceratops in there. Yeah, if they thought Erasure us the Bag of Holding, it just goes to the Bag of Holding. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... There's a Ceratops. Found one. 
pro blue actually works out here. With Omnath being all the colors. Ooh, we can have a bag inside a bag. Let's give Vigilant. Vigilance? No, Reach, Trample, Haste. All right, so we have to fit in Safaras into that deck, huh? So Cavalier will do zero damage to me if we kill Cavalier. Zero does not seem like that much. Let's get these cards back. Yeah, I guess zero is a, a good price to pay. Suppose we can afford zero. Well, it's pretty sweet just having all these extra cards now. That was pretty nice. All right, so good brother. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do with that with the blue white skies deck. Okay, that game is over. Next game. So they're another they're like a teamer elemental deck. We don't really see very much so so many different cards. They just had a whole bunch of like those elemental lords. Um Omnith does put some counters on things, I suppose. I don't know if we really need to blight beetle though. I don't really know if we want any of these sideboard cards to be honest.
We need to put the elemental cat into the bag of holding. All right, yeah, we have we have too many spells though in this arc bow deck. There's only 20 creatures in here. That's that's kind of the problem. Like that should, that needs to be closer to like 25, 30. There really aren't because even like mana creatures you don't want to hit. So like these, there's really not very many creatures in this arc bow deck. Like we should be playing. Like four, like instead of playing disfigures and like a trophy, we should have like four chupacabras, for example. Just get a lot more creatures in here. I'll cut the disfigures for the blight beetles. Yeah, masker girl. That would be a good good card to have. Of course, Null Hide Fair Ox is just awesome. With Arc Bow, of course. Hmm. Let's try it. We just need to draw a black mana. I'd really like to have Rotting Regisaur turn 3 and turn 4. We have three draw steps to find black mana. There we go. Risen Reef is really strong. Real good card there. Get him, Blight Beetle. Get him. Yeah, we can, Code Junk. Yep. Yeah, you can you can activate Arcbow Instant Speed. You can respond. Not to like, not to which card that they actually cho choose with Thought Erasure. You just, you just activate it with Thought Erasure on the stack. Hmm. All right, so they have Lava Coil in hand. So we know they have a lava coil. There's that. Must have drew another burn spell. Oh. It's had two lava coils. We're dead to an Omnath. But I'm making this attack. I'm making this attack so that hopefully my Blight Beetle can get the last two points in. You know, like, then I'll stop attacking with Reggie, be able to hold Reggie back on defense, or, you know, maybe they need to block Reggie or something. 
but you know the beetle is pretty unblockable would you like to see the reason not to play the land there would be to upkeep arc bow and ditch this land balance comes But then we just draw like some other card that we may have to discard to ret Rotting Regisaur later. It doesn't make the most of sense. I guess we just make them block out here. I guess I could have activated for four and just see if we would have hit the Ceratops on four and then gave given Ceratops haste. The wilds are my shield. It's not that likely though, with only four in our deck. Yeah, if we activate for five, we could possibly hit Ronus to have the Blight Beetle attack for lethal. You're playing the Omni Tears deck with Othakaya, finished all Mastermind and Flood, and only had Tamiyo to go infinite by reblying Flood. Realized I could win by infinite casting Kaya. There you go. Win con. Yeah. If you just have. Yeah, if you have, if you just get to go infinite with. With those two. Good call. Yeah, I can't stop that. All right, one on one. I don't know anything about Tulsimer maybe being bugged. Just saw your comment there. I don't know anything about that. I haven't seen that at all. I don't. I don't know if I've seen Tulsimer. I think we played against Tulsimer a, a little bit yesterday. GG's Polakowski. Where's my GG emote? There we go. GG's. Ooh. Elf. The re the reanimator that we that we played earlier felt pretty bad against Esper, and that's just what we played against both rounds was Esper, unfortunately. Um, it, it seemed like, you know, maybe we'd have, we'd be able to do cooler, uh, cooler things with the deck against other decks, but against Esper, Esper's just a r really powerful, and we just couldn't quite keep up. The Junt Cavaliers deck we played yesterday was a reanimate type deck that felt like it has more potential, in my opinion, and um, I'm going to work on that deck again some in the next couple of days. The Cavaliers and the reanimation spells, there's some good stuff there.
All right, Ceratops so hitting hard. Hopefully no coils over there. I have not played any night packs, no. Not yet. Reggie, Reggie so big. Yep, Ceratops Pro Blue. So Veil of Summer only gives Hexproof from blue and black spells, so we're not going to be able to stop Lava Coil or Burn Spells or anything like that. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I'm excited to play the Chandra Tribal. Stop. There we go. Uh, sure, I guess. It's a big creature. It's a good question. Uh, yeah, I think, like, again, specifically red, Moment of Craving is probably better against Disfigure because that two life really matters. But against, like, basically everything else, yeah, yeah, I think Disfigure is better than Moment of Craving. One, one versus two mana is a really big deal. You know, think about the difference between, you know, like, Land or Elf and whatever two mana mana creature that just adds a green mana that doesn't see any play. You know, just name whatever Druid. You know, the difference between Lightning Bolt and Lightning Strike. One and two mana is a huge difference. All right, going to ditch the Land War off to the Bag of Holding. Cause I want, you know, we'll have the, cry, the Carnarium for the Arc Lights. Uh-oh. This is not going to be good for us. Yeah, the Goblins deck felt pretty sweet. Uh, you know, made a couple of changes at the end. And, like, the my sideboard was not good. I don't really know exactly what to do with the sideboard. Goblins may be a better best of one deck, honestly. But it felt pretty good.
Up. Oh, play the card. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're dead here. Especially I had the, the slow hand on the draw. The Kefnet was just absolutely perfect against me. We're very dead. I was set up to kill Phoenixes and try to grind through removal with the bag folding. Those are like the two things I could do. I could I could kill Phoenix and I could grind through removal. Point on play to Kefnet though. Couldn't handle that. The more cards you play, like Calamity and Icon of Ancestry and everything, you make... The more cards you play like that, all you do is you make your Goblin Ringleaders worse. Goblin Ringleader is a really, really strong card that wants you to play a lot of goblins. Kefnet's a 4-5, does not die to, the, to two Cryother Carnariums. Alright, let's try again. Yep, they still had the finale in hand. I think. I don't know, but yeah, this game. All right, can we get there? So we're going to lead with Paradise Druid here, trying to get to the Ceratops on turn three. Do you have an answer for a Kefnet? His temples are really perfect for these decks. Or, you know, it's a really good turn, turn one play. They, you know, don't do any, hardly anything on turn one anyway. I would like Nullhide more here. A 6 6 with hexproof. Definitely be liking some Nullhides a little more. Hmm. Do I want to play Vivian and start ticking up Vivian? It's like the real question. I guess we play this thing. Uh, I may play a Jeskai list tomorrow, with it being 4th of July. I don't have, of course, don't have any Jeskai lists for today. I don't even know what that Jeskai list would be. The thing about playing Vivian is I think it, it it really allows my opponent just to spend their turn doing this kind of stuff. Charter course, opt, shock, and like bring bring back Phoenixes and everything where the Ceratops does put them under some pressure a little bit. Ooh. No. No third spell. 
I didn't. You can't stop nature. So taking the basics so that I can play Arcbow and activate Arcbow for four next turn. Presuming we don't draw anything good. Yeah, I'm sure I'll play a Kalia deck sometime in the format. Uh, not really um, expecting okay. to play a Kalia so deck claws. in the next few days. But in the coming weeks, I'll, I'll be making a Kalia deck. Scars are lessons written in skin. Meet my newest friend. No, it's not a good use of a trophy at all, but I really want my Vivian to stay around. At least they don't get to get the Phoenix back till next turn. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I mean, getting Ronus just means we have to discard it. And grab the Llanowar Elf and I can play everything. The main question is... No, it's not much of a question. Z debating whether to wait until they play get the other phoenix back also before cry the carnarium but uh not with rotting register where we have to discard a card All right, does our big dinosaur take it down? Shouldn't we keep a card in hand? No, like you don't have to just, if you don't have any cards in hand, you don't have to discard anything. So it's, it's good to not have a card in hand so we don't have to discard anything. All right, two and one, Bulgari discard. Regisaur looked really strong there against the red, the deck with red burn spells for removal, just being a 7-6. You know, both those games that we won, that 7-6 was pretty nice. I don't know exactly what yet Bandit. I have to, like, sit down with the deck and everything. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head exactly what to change with the deck. I'm not sure. I kind of think so. I think Kawhi is going to resign with Toronto. Yeah, like if I had to, if I had to guess somewhere, I, I think it's Toronto.
if if he does resign with Toronto, the Lakers are really going to be hurting because there's not there's not much not many players left for them to take honestly them to try to get from the free agent class. So whenever whenever you let Thought Erasure resolve Code Junk, it you have to let the whole card resolve. So you're like, okay, if Thought Erasure resolves, then target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-land card from it. It's not like, okay, you they chose the non-land card from it, now we have priority to activate Arc Bow before they discard the card. Whenever you whenever you resolve any card, you have to go through and resolve the whole card first before other things. You have priority of course, before the card before the card starts resolving, you know, like you know, while it's on the stack, you have priority. You can activate your arc bow, but you can't do stuff in the middle of a card. Yeah, the target is the opponent. The target's not a card because they can't they can't just like look at these these cards here and target a card. No, they, they target you to look at your hand. So that's, yeah. So they don't get to target a card. Nice, Orny. Cool. Glad you're liking the Grixis control deck from yesterday. Go, big dino, go. Let's slow this down. You need to take a time out. Um, really should have seen I, that coming. I don't really know why you'd want to play brought back main deck and Esper control. I don't. I mean, the the scenario is, of course, that like where you want brought back, so you're like with things dying. You just. You want your cards to be like a deck like Esper Control. You want all of your cards to just be good on their own. You know, you want like good. In, you want like the best interaction that you have. You want your your best planeswalkers with card advantage and things like that. You don't want a, a situational card that does nothing on its own. That, um, that maybe if you have you know that that can't you know can maybe do something, but not necessarily. It's not the kind of cards that you want to be playing in Esper. You just want good cards, not situational cards. Really, really hope. Dang it. Trust me. 
You'll thank me later. Dang it. So I say I really, really hope that we didn't have the bounce so spell for the bag of holding. Now all those cards are gone, now our bag of holding is going to be gone. Ugh. Really hoping they didn't have any removal for the bag for another turn. I should be activating Field of Rune here first before playing the Temple. I just made this scry worthless. That's my bad. I really should be activating field rune first. And then I would have been able to scry this top card. Might be a bad idea. If you wish to surrender now, sorry, I'm I late. Understand. You know what? I'm not done yet. Blech. I have just the trick for this. Yeah, whenever... Okay, so this has... Sacrifice Bag of Holding, return all cards exiled with Bag of Holding to their owner's hand. It's It's... It's talking about this copy of Bag of Holding. It's not it's not return cards exiled with a different bag of holding. It's 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 just using the name of the card. It's specifically talking about that copy of that card. So these cards are just exiled for good. Um Kitsune, as you see here, this is a donation deck, which means I didn't I didn't put the list together. I like the new pet cat. Oh, in the Grixis deck, I have Lava Coils for my two-mana removal. I wanted something that cost one mana. I just want something that costs one mana. You know, I just have the one copy there. Just want something really cheap. But I have other two-mana removal spells. I wouldn't... I don't think I would want to play it over 
like all your two mana removal spells in like a Grixis deck. Keep an open mind. Let's try this. All right, so we're going to play Duresses, Elder Spell, all these Vela Summers. And we're going to cut all these Disfigures. Hmm. I kind of want to just cut all the Bag of Holdings, to be honest. I don't know. Getting a bounce like that is just so rough. Um... I mean, our deck doesn't have enough creatures. We we just can't possibly cut any creatures if we don't have arc bows. We could just cut arc bows, I guess. But we can't cut creatures. Do we just cut assassins trophies? Maybe that's what we do. I'm gonna cut the land where elves. This is the kind of problem with Assassin's Trophy, though with the the problem with assassin's trophy in this deck is the rotting regisaur how you you basically have to keep your hand clean because of the rotting regisaur so having a card like having these trophies that we want to wait and kill to fairy hero of dominaria with just doesn't work when we're playing the rotting regisaurs that make us discard and our opponent playing you know good good removal spells means they get to they get to pass turn let us untap and we have to discard a card and then they kill the regisaur it's just not really this is not a matchup where regisaur is very good unfortunately because of all their good removal oh well well okay no beetle beetle doesn't do anything against nissa So I definitely feel like this could be Kaya's Wrath here. So I just wanted to hold up Arc Bow activation. Another time where Null Hide is just Null Hide is just kind of better than this card. I think if we had Null Hide here, how wonderful this would be. Um. Hmm. 
Not looking good. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. This duck's frustrating. Yeah, this... We need so many more creatures in a deck oh, like this. I've done the hero thing before. Like in an Arcbow deck. So Ronus is going to be harder to kill. Taking it. Plus, if it if Ronus just <clears throat> if Ronus dies, we can put it back in the library and, and grab it again with Arcbow. If we played the arc, if we played the bag of folding and then tried to activate arc bow, we would have only been activating for three, and we already saw we were whiffing on four every turn. There's, it's really unlikely the three actually hits. You know, there's only like three regisaurs in the the whole deck for it to hit. We have to just put a fifth land out there. This might be a bad idea. So I think my opponent has Kaya's Wrath. They're planning on playing here instant speed, thanks to Teferi. Yeah, we have the Ronus chain, Ronus chain assembled. Correct, Macron. Yeah, if you don't have any cards to discard, your dino is good. Jarhead, try not capitalizing the P and level up at the very end.
Alright, so they're casting the cry to keep their Teferi alive at one. But I'm fine with it being there. Fine-ish. I guess letting them gain that extra two life was not good. So they can get Rotting Regisaur and Shifting Ceratops. I'll protect you. With this Command the Dread Horde. I like M20 a whole lot. There's a lot of really enjoyable uh, cards to play here in this set. I like it quite a bit. So much clicking. I don't think it's end step. There we go. Just kind of keep on fighting through their cards. We have to keep getting Ronus back every single turn. These turns are taking so long. Yes, all right, now we're in main phase. It's like a, our opponent has like a stop on every single step on both sides. That's more like it. Yeah, go to attackers. I don't care. So they have to find a way to deal with Thronus. So we're just going to keep on get, bringing this back. They may use their Teferi to bounce the Arc Bow and forcing us to play, you know, forcing us to get Ronus back like where they have a main phase, but of course. The Teferi also gets to tick up and let them cast their sorceries at instant speed, though, too. Now we're in the Golgari Discord deck right now. It's 
Stream's going pretty good. We've been streaming for eight, eight and a half hours now. I'm starting to get kind of tired. We're at eight and a half hours in on the, the 12 hour stream. These games have been taking a long time. Like I, certainly one of these decks we won't be able to play and maybe two of the decks. Trust me, I have a plan. For today, we have another donation deck that we're adding in here also. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Hone your prowess. Okay, Narset whiffed. Ugh. Well, that'll be able to bounce the Ronus. This isn't a fight you can win. Do we have any Ceratops left that we could just draw? Don't worry. And just have I a haste you. creature that wins this. So slow. Okay. Well, I'm just going to blow up this Ascanta. They don't get to activate that all the time. <laughs> this has been like the slowest game. before action. Grab the chest clock things. from the world any longer. Not so fast. Not so fast. I under I know. I know we're not going so Let's fast. Try this. Hey, okay. All right, I had my turn. I'll play Maronis. We'll see if we if we win. Or maybe next hour we'll have another turn. Keep up the pace. Yeah, those. Yeah, we have three of the the. I think Autumn Veil is the name of the card, the pro blue black card go. in green. The problem is with with having to ferry. The card's just not really doing anything. With having the little to ferry.
We do have a couple Elder spells. So that would be like our best draw. Just get rid of these Planeswalkers, especially the Big Teferi. Oh yeah, of course shifting ceratops, obviously. There's two more of those somewhere. How can you really hate this set no so far, Flat Dude? I don't, I don't, like, how, how? <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. All right, so they Elder Spelled their Narset to put some counters on the Teferi. To bounce the Teferi. Or sorry, to bounce the Rotting Regisaur. How many Kai's rats have we seen so far? Just one? Yeah, I think if your problem is with the Esper still being too good, I mean, you should definitely have much more of a problem with War of the Spark than with this set. The Esper cards in War of the Spark are just very, very, very good. Unreal good. You know, like these Othakaya, Narset, Teferi, Elder Spell, Command the Dread Horde. They just gave Esper everything in War of the Spark. Nothing. I guess they have a Kaya's Wrath in one of those two cards. Since the last time we checked our timers, my timer has gone down like 10 seconds. And theirs has gone down like four minutes.
If we can win this game in like another four minutes, may they may time out. Just the trick for this. The Ronas keeps dying, but keeps coming back. Yeah, donation decks work, you know, uh, basically, uh, you just, if you'd like your deck played on stream, uh, it's a $20 donation to have your deck played on stream. And usually my stream day every day, my stream time every day, today's a special stream being the 12 hour stream, but my usual stream time is from three to 10 Eastern time. And I play four decks during that time. And so you get to pick. You when you donate for a deck, you can pick whether you want the deck played first, second, third, or fourth, and on what day. So, um, but yeah, you just just uh, send the link of the deck in with the with the donation. Yeah, Ceratops off the top would have done it. Let's skip to the good part. There's two Ceratops left in these 36 cards. I had 23... Oh nine, I be I believe is twenty three oh nine. There's something close to that. And they had like seventeen. No. Nineteen? They had like nineteen. I don't know. Hold that thought. Right on schedule. Fortunately, the Thought Razor gets to be cast at instant speed also. That's more like it. So even though it's like... Yeah, like that little Teferi just really messed up that Veil of Summer. Say this is probably my least favorite opponent I've ever had on Arena. I'm guessing it's probably it's probably not their fault though. It's probably it kind of seems like it may be like a connection thing. Like they may not have very good internet. That's probably what it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's probably not their fault. All right, the cast down means, yeah, I know, I know the full control's on, but still, it's like really slow between every phase of every every turn. The cast down does mean that the shifting ceratops no now is no longer an out. You should just concede here. Try this. They have eleven minutes left. I mean there's there's no way they run out of time this game. I mean I guess it's possible they could run out of time. They only have thirteen cards left. It's really about decking. Love it. Oh, come on. Uh, we draw the spell that doesn't let them ultimate this to fairy. I didn't know that Thought Erasure is still in their deck. They've cast so many of those. I guess that's their last one. done the hero thing before. I mean, is it possible we deck them? I mean, it kind of is. Like, they have to, ha they have to like, loop the Teferis to not deck. But if they, Ow, if they just ultimate the Teferi here... They'd have to have another Teferi to loop. You are removed from and if we draw, like, Elder Spell for the other Teferi... All right, well, that should do it. They should just command the Dread Horde back Little Teferi and have Little Teferi bounce out the Kaya. Right on schedule. We need to move quickly. Yeah, the, the other other Kaya will kill me. All right, two and two. This deck didn't feel very, very powerful. Didn't feel very good. The there's there's way too many spells in here for the Arcbow deck. Our Arcbow was was pretty bad. You know, like we were missing all the time with Arcbow, or like just hitting a mana creature. If like if you don't really count the mana creatures, we only there's only twelve spells that are like good to hit with the arc bow, and you're just not going to hit that very often. Only looking at four or five cards a turn. So there, there there's too many removal spells. The disfigures were just horrible. Like those just shouldn't be in the deck, honestly. The bag of holdings. I mean that's that's kind of like so like that's that's like the point of the deck, you know, is to be like a bag of holding deck that's like kind of does some little neat stuff, but it's just it's not very good. Um, it's really not compared to all the powerful things you can be doing in standard. 
bag of holding is not there. Uh, shifting ceratops was just basically worse than null height all the time. Um, but, I mean, it was okay for us because it was just a four mana rare creature, which we just desperately, desperately needed. Any four mana rare creature. I think Ripjaw Raptor would have been better. Wouldn't have died to Lava Coil. And so on. Um, wasn't very impressed with the Blight Beetles. Even against like the green decks. I, I kind of think that we would rather have... Um, the other hate card that like destroys a green or white planeswalk creature or planeswalker at instant speed. Veil vale Summer is a cool idea, as we saw there. It was kind of rough against the Little Teferi, but it's it's a cool idea. Basically, this deck we just need like if we want to play Rotting Regisaur. So like, I'll be playing like this other Golgari deck tomorrow. This Golgari Stompy. I feel like if you want to be playing Rotting Regisaur, and you know you can get this list on the Stream Decker page too. I definitely feel like we need to have a lot more creatures. And I think that Rotting Registrar works really well with Viv Vivian Arcbow Ranger. Instead of going with, like, Bag of Holding, you know, make it even bigger and give it Trample. You know, make it bigger, give it Trample. Uh, have, you know, Vine Mare, you know, gets blocked by a lot of things as being an X3. But if you, if it's like a 5-3 and then you put two counters on it and give it Trample, make it a 7-5 Trample, Hexproof. You know, that's, that's where we're talking. Um, so, yeah, we'll have that one for tomorrow. Um, but the Golgari discard deck, this this here with the Bag of Holding, was just was just underwhelming. Um, and that's okay. You know, like, it's that's the thing. Like, these are new cards. We want to try them out and everything. So it's, it's good that we tried it out here. Um, but there we go. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And uh, that's it here for Golgari Discard. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.